Hello guys, in this video I want to share my opinion on being a full stack developer and should you switch from being a Laravel developer backender with only some JavaScript to being totally full stack, start from Vue.js and leave Laravel as API with totally different architecture. An inspiration for this video, I've published a video last week which became really popular, practical example of switching from Laravel to Vue.js with API and there was one comment which became pretty typical in my videos or in my articles from people who don't like the idea of switching to the front end first, like David in this case, and he listed the reasons why here, but let's talk in general about full stack development and should you switch. And disclaimer, this video is an opinion based on my own experience and I haven't practically experienced everything that will be mentioned in this video, but I will give an opinion based on my experience and what I've read online. First, the definition. Full stack developer. Who is full stack developer? If a company publishes the job advertisement for a full stack developer, what do they actually need? And there are two actual cases which are totally opposite. For some cases, full stack developer is a backender who can tweak the JavaScript and apply the framework like jQuery or some minimal Vue.js, so they know enough front end to be a full stack and list the Vue.js on their CV. And that is a majority of developers these days. So backenders who used to code only PHP, then Laravel, and then adopted some of the JavaScript. And I suspect that majority of you are in that group, in that category. Myself included, actually. I know enough JavaScript to be dangerous, so to speak. So technically, I can call myself a full-stack developer. But the other side of the spectrum are front-end first type of developers who start the project from Vue.js or React or Angular or some kind of JavaScript framework and then leave Laravel only for the API layer. And I see a lot of developers trying to switch from the backend mentality to the frontend mentality because it's sexy these days. Because it seems that everyone is building SPAs now, Vue.js and all of that sexy stuff. But let's think about it. What projects are good for that switch and what are not good? It depends on the context. It depends on a lot of things. So if someone tells you, use Vue.js, do single page applications, learn the APIs, just because you need to do that, that's wrong thinking. Because it depends on the team you have, on the project you work with, on the budget, on the risks. If you don't deliver on your infrastructure, on your previous experience with front end and back end, on the project future, so will you need a mobile application or not? So the decision for the architecture should be based on the project and on the situation, not on someone's opinion that Vue.js is sexy. And also the problem is that the switch seems quite easy to learn some Vue.js and then you already know how API works in Laravel. And this video that I'm showing on the screen, 22 minutes of demo of simple Vue.js page, it's kind of a misleading message that it is easy. It may be easy on the first step, so to create a page, but then if you get deeper, you go into authorization and authentication. And even that topic in itself has so much confusion about that. How to check the roles and permissions both on the front end and the back end. What driver to use, Laravel Passport or New Sanctum. And by the way, do you know the story of the Sanctum? Back in December 2019, Taylor Otwell, creator of Laravel, posted a few tweets asking the audience how do they do authentication with Vue and API and Laravel. After a few tweets, it became clear that people were all over the place with that. There was no clear information from Laravel documentation or from wherever how to do that as a best practice. So everyone was winging it somehow and doing it their own way. Or there were a few articles written and then everyone was following those. So people were using Laravel Passport just because it is released. So Taylor was kind of forced to create a tool for more simplified authentication. At first it was called Airlock, now it was renamed to Sanctum. And even after that, Laravel team member Mohammed has to explain stuff to people releasing the video like this one on what is better to use for tokens, for sessions, for authentication. So if you get deeper into Vue.js with SPA and API world, it becomes quite complex and then in the end you have to support two applications, Laravel and Vue.js, and both of them quite complex. But it's not that bad. Uh, I'm not trying to scare you here. There's totally a good case for those single page applications. And that raises the fundamental question. When should you switch and when should you use that Vue.js and API logic for the project? And the question is, are you working on a website or a web application? Think about it, even the word SPA 
short for single page applications. It contains the word application. So if you are working on a public facing page, like a blog, like an e-shop, like Yellow Pages directory of companies or something like that, it's okay to have public website without that reactivity of Vue.js front end first. And also it may actually even hurt public pages to have application logic because for SEO, you have to have clear URL structure, rendering of HTML so Google would index it in a well-structured manner and stuff like that. So for a lot of things, single page application logic would be actually harmful and more complex to then maintain. But I'm not saying you shouldn't use Vue.js at all. There is a perfect scenario for that. So you could think of Vue.js as a replacement to jQuery and vanilla JavaScript with just more structure, more object-oriented thinking. So for that case, it's totally fine. So you have the public page of eShop and then some element is dynamically re-rendered after some click. And for that, you can use Vue.js totally. But to switch to front-end first, that requires totally different effort. So I will give you three reasons when it is worth to switch your application to be a single page application. First reason is user experience. If your backend rendering is slow enough so people need to wait for a few seconds for anything to appear on the screen, that's pretty bad. Then it's better to load HTML and CSS and JavaScript much quicker in a fraction of a second and then render each element with time. Imagine tool like Google Analytics or any reporting tool or dashboard or something like that. Or you can imagine any Windows or Mac application, like even a browser. Imagine you click any link on the browser and then the whole browser is refreshed, relaunched like a new application. That would be pretty terrible user experience, right? Another reason to switch, second reason to switch, if your platform will be multi-platform. So it won't be only on the web, but also you need mobile application maybe something on smartwatch, on Tesla, whatever, then you have to have API first. And third reason, kind of similar to the second one, if you have a separate team for the front end who want to take care of the front end only. So you have people who would work only on Vue.js and would only consume the API, and you yourself on the back end would work only on the API. And now I will give you three reasons, three bad reasons to switch. First reason is that someone says that you need to be proper full stack. It may be CEO of your company, it may be some guru on the internet, someone outside of your company at all. So if someone says you that you need to be a full stack and you need to build single page applications, that's the wrong way to switch. Also similar reason if you want to follow the trends, so you see the trend of single page application and you want to follow that, wrong reason. And third wrong reason is if you just want to try it out. So again, those reasons are pretty similar and interconnected, but if you want to try it out as a architecture, you may try it out on your side project somewhere after work or in your spare time or ask your manager to have your like 20% time just for experiments, but don't do that on real projects until you actually have experience on some plane or out things. And also there's a great Hacker News discussion around an article that none of my projects want to be single page applications. The article itself is quite good and real-life scenario explaining, but also read the comments. I totally recommend you that. Final note, I want to mention some new tools to make the mix of both worlds. It is also a new trend in last years, so you can have so-called server-side rendering with tools like Nux.js. I haven't tried it myself, but there's a lot written, so you can read around that. Also, guys like Spati received their own package Laravel server-side rendering. And finally, probably the hottest thing on the market is Laravel Livewire. So just this week, this article was published that Laravel Livewire is a game changer and it allows backend developers, Laravel developers, to basically stick with Laravel and not care about Vue.js or JavaScript or NPM or anything like that. And for backenders, it's totally a game changer. But I found another article pretty popular, which is making the case against Laravel Livewire. And this is a great article about architecture in general and also practical, so I totally recommend to read that. And at the end of the example, here's the result. So Livewire totally makes the case for not caring of JavaScript, NPM, Webpack, Vue, React or anything on the front end. But then architecturally, it's a question what then happens with the project, how it is maintained, how it is supported. 
because it violates quite a lot of principles of separating the concerns. Because for quite a lot of time, people were trying to separate backend from frontend with even different people working on those things. And this live wire kind of mix it all together with quite a lot of potential questionable impact, I would say. And here's the list. And then in the article, every item is explained. And probably separation of concerns is my biggest point to make. So that is your choice. If you want to use something like Livewire, feel free to do that. And it looks cool and it does work. It does the job. But think about how that project will be maintained a year after that, five years after that. Who would do that? And will it be actually easier to maintain? So these are my random kind of thoughts. I'm jumping here and there, but I hope you get the message. My message is that don't blindly follow the trends of whatever technology, whatever framework. Put that in context. If you need to deliver quickly on low budget with small team, go without any Vue.js. Laravel is your friend. You don't need any single page applications. If you are putting architecture for the future with potential mobile application, and you have time and budget for that, and good understanding how those things work, then dive deeper into SBAs. So this is my overall message. Do you agree or disagree? Let's discuss in the comments. Final note, if you do want to switch to the API way of doing things, inside of our Quick Admin Panel Laravel Generator, we have API Generator. So you just tick the checkbox and you get the API CRUD controller with all the methods like store, show, update, and destroy like a typical Laravel resourceful controller with also API resources. And for authentication, we use Laravel Passport by default, but you can turn it off. So check that out at quickadminpanel.com or I will link that article in the description so you can just read around.